Among the thousands of North Korean soldiers who were brought to Russia, there are, according to intelligence, special forces who were trained under a special training program. No one knows how strong these North Korean special forces are. It now looks like false advertising when they talk about the best product, and in the small print it says that this is the conclusion of some unknown study. We are told that the North Korean special forces are supposedly great, but no one has seen them in combat since 1953, that is, since the end of the Korean War. According to Ukrainian military expert Ivan Stupak, perhaps they are the best in their specific location. And if we compare them with the Ukrainian ones who are already experienced and how to work in war conditions, I do not think that the North Korean military will turn the tide in Russia's favor, but in a specific area due to their numbers like meat, they can cause trouble. If we talk about reinforcing the Kursk region with 12,000 North Korean troops, then this could be bad for us, but it will definitely not be like in the movies where they come and kill everyone. The expert added, he says that we do not know how much Russia paid for these North Korean soldiers, what the conditions of their use were. Was it about training, when they would be in the third to fourth line of defense, staying in the second line of defense, or perhaps their limited participation in combat? It cannot be ruled out that the dictators of the North Korea and Russia have come to an agreement that the aggressor country will take these 12,000 people, pay for their lives as much as possible, and use them as it sees fit, he said. South Korean MP Lee Song Kwai said that the North Korea is trying to keep quiet about sending troops to support Russia in the war against Ukraine. Allegedly, the North Korean authorities are moving and isolating the families of these troops in a certain place in order to effectively control them and thoroughly deal with rumors. Ivan Stupak says that this is a normal story for the North Korea. This is an attempt to put pressure on soldiers and force them not to run away, not to surrender, but to shoot themselves, swallow poison, so as not to subject their relatives to repression. If someone there runs away to South Korea, then his relatives will be repressed, up to the fourth generation. That is, if the North Korean military is used on the battlefield, then the Russians will get zombies that will be driven forward. The military from the North Korea will have something to lose. They will understand what this threatens for their relatives, he said. The body of a teenage girl killed in a Russian drone attack on Kiev was removed by rescuers early on Saturday morning. The strike on a 25-story high residential block left another five people injured, Kiev officials reported. One of the injured is a man who lived next door to the apartment hit by the drone. He's in shock, I don't know, I don't think he's wounded, but he was breathing those gases. Said Irina, the sister of the injured man. According to Ukraine's emergency service, the attack damaged several apartments on the 17th, 18th, and 19th floors and 100 people were evacuated from the building. A fire started on the upper floors of the building because of the strike. В нього це в нього серце, ну, не дуже в нього стенди. Так що там, щоб його почули, що в той квартирі, де горить, ну, рядом з Ей, в шоці не знаю. Думаю, що ні, але надишався цьому. Да, да, да.
Показываю, подумай, подумай.